Okay, welcome back to part four of the how to solve a Rubik's Cube video series. Um, so far, we've talked about solving the first two layers. So you can see on this cube, I've got the first two layers completely solved. And now we're gonna work on the, the bottom layer, the yellow layer uh, in this next um, set of videos. So the, the, the strategy that we're gonna be using here is basically we're gonna um, do a move, an algorithm, a set of, of you know transformations that are gonna jumble around the, the, the yellow layer while leaving the bottom two layers totally fine. So that's gonna be basically our strategy. We're gonna apply a set of moves um, to, to move these things around and they're not gonna mess up the bottom two layers. Those are gonna stay intact. And then eventually we'll be able to, to solve the, the last layer as well. The first part of this is called the, the corner switching move. And essentially what we're gonna, the goal of this move is to put the correct corner pieces um, in the correct spots. The orientation, like you know what, what, where the yellow is, that doesn't matter, um, but we just want the, the piece to be in the correct spot. So if we look at this, this piece right here, for instance, this piece is in the correct spot. It's yellow and red and blue. So it's in the correct spot. It, it also has the correct orientation. Um, but like I said, the orientation at this point is not, is not really what's going to be important. It's going to be, you know, is it in the correct spot? If we look at this piece over here, this piece is also in the correct spot. So when you're, when you're first sort of looking at, you know, it, trying to figure out, are these in the correct spots? Um, what I would recommend, find two pieces that have the same color next to them. So here we've got blue and blue, and I would line those up with the blue side. So I've already, I've already done that. I'll show a few more examples later on. Um, but then we can quickly see, okay, these two, they're in the correct spots. This one has the right orientation, this one doesn't. Again, orientation doesn't matter. So if we flip the cube over, over, we can check these two. So this piece and this piece, these two need to be switched, right? We need to switch those and then we will have them in the correct spots um, regardless of orientation. So we wanna do the corner switcher move with these two pieces. So this is the, the actual corner switcher move. So I'll put this post-it right here. So this is gonna tell me that I want yellow on top. So yellow is gonna be on top. I'm gonna to be looking at the two pieces that I wanna switch. So these are the two pieces that I wanna switch. And I'm just gonna go through this algorithm. This algorithm is gonna switch these two pieces and not mess up sort of anything else uh, on the bottom two layers. Some other stuff will happen up here. Again, we don't really care about that at this point in time. So to do this move, left up, top to the right, left down. You'll see that same motif of moving one thing, moving something else, and putting that, that other, the first thing back. Front face clockwise, top to the left. Front face counterclockwise, just reversing that. Left up, so now we're here, down here. Top to the left, lining up those whites, and then left back down. So as we do this move, it's gonna sort of mess things up up here. We're gonna have to, to turn uh, the top around so that we can see what has happened. And in fact, those two pieces, they've switched spots. So that's, that's great. If we look at our blue pieces, those again have stayed in the same spots. So all of these corner pieces, this is the goal of this move, all of these corner pieces are now in the correct spot. Their orientations, right, they're not all correct, that's okay. Sometimes you'll see them, they'll all be correct, sometimes they won't, it doesn't matter. Just that they're in the correct spots um, and that is, that's it for the corner switcher. So I'm gonna go ahead and mess this up real quick. And then just go through one more time how we might sort of look at that. So now, for instance, here, I'm trying to figure out, you know, what, what needs to happen. I've got two reds next to one another. So I'm going to go ahead and just take those two reds and line them up with the red side. And I can see, well, these two pieces, they need to be switched, right? So if I switch these two pieces, that's going to put this in the correct spot. That's going to put this in the correct spot. So those two, they need to be switched. So let's go ahead and, and switch them right away. So just following our algorithm, left up. And once we've finished that algorithm, then those pieces that started over here, they actually end up in the back, so we can just turn the, the cube around. And in fact, those are now switched. They're in the correct spots. That's great. So let's check our other two. So now again, we've got orange and blue and orange and green. So these two, they also need to be switched. So every time you're sort of looking at the corner switcher, at most, you should have to do two corner switchers, uh, which is this case, um, to, to get you know where we need to get, where all of the, the corner pieces are in the correct spots. Um, if you're doing more than that, then you're sort of, you're missing a little bit. You need to, to think about you know, lining things up and just doing two corner switchers at most to get all the corners set. So one more time, let's just go through this algorithm. I'll go a little bit slower this time, yellow's on top. I'm switching these two here, left up, top to the right, left down, so that's the first step. Front face clockwise, 
top to the left, front face back, counterclockwise, left face up, you should see those whites line up when I turn the top, and then left back down. And again, now we should see that all of my corners are in the correct spots. Again, the orientations, um, they might be wrong, doesn't matter. That is the next step. Um, and we will talk about uh, the final step in the next video.